taking a look at a tool that might be more relevant to uh, YouTubers than anybody else, um, I decided to buy myself a light meter and I wanted one that is inexpensive, but from a brand I could trust. So Unity is always how I go about that. So let's take a look. This is the UT383 light meter. So box had a hard time on the way from China. This is right from AliExpress, links in the description. Okay, in bubble wrap. Um, I will say uh, not very inflated bubble wrap. So there's the device. So it's got the little sensor up top. A uh, very similar device to the uh, 353. In fact, it's not quite the same case, but it's close. Maybe it is the same case. And that chrome rod coming out the top is kind of like this chrome rod coming up the out the top. So it might be the exact same case. Has the same button layout too. You get a instruction pamphlet. Uh, all in Chinese. So you're going to need a translation of that if you're interested. And you get the device. So probably triple A's. Yeah, three triple A's. And, oh, it's got the little hole for potentiometer there, but no potentiometer. That's interesting. So let's put our cells in. And let's see. So I've got quite a bit of lights on my bench, but let's take a look here. Power on. There we go. So 4664 Lux. And I'm just going to try to cast a shadow from one of my lights. Yeah, that is definitely making a difference. Try to get that oriented there. My other one. That's good. I even uh, didn't remember this, but I can control the above bench lights too. So that goes down and that gets shaded, but except you can't see it at home. So this is going to pose a little bit of a problem when it comes to recording this for you. Let's talk about the features. Uh, so hold, there we go. And then there's this BL, which I believe is Bluetooth. Some of these models have Bluetooth. This one is the inexpensive one. There's the min max feature. So there's the max, there's the min, and then Lux and FC. I don't know what FC means. Uh, I think the other unit of measurement is candelas or something like that. I'm going to put it down in the bottom of the frame there. But uh, yeah, you've got the two different measurements. So yeah, let's, let's figure out some stuff that we can fire into this globe. So I think I solved the problem where you guys can now see the screen, but, um, light sources won't be, you know, bothered by my ambience. So, um, I've got this little Dollarama light. It's a little spotlight. If I stick it on there, we get pretty much zero lux, right? Two lux, a little bit coming through there. There we go. Pretty much zero lux. Now, turn this on and put that on there. And now you guys can see 6,000 lux. So it's not perfect, but I think it works pretty well. And line that up too. There we go. So if you're just taking relative lux measurements, this might work. Oh, it turned off because I was playing with it on my bench. I just went around and grabbed a couple of flashlights that I can uh, put inside the glory hole here. Um, so here is my work flashlight, this Borowit unit. It's kind of an expensive unit. Um, so if you see, it goes very dim. So at its dimmest, it's like 9,000 lux. Next step up. Oh, is that the brightest? Yeah. Brightest. It goes backwards. So let's go with the brightest. 
So this is times a hundred. Oh my God, this is off the scale. That's off the charts. So if you'd want to test this, you'd have to back off because it's way too bright. Let's check one more down. Okay. So this is um, 7,000 times 10. So 70,000 lux. Next dim down. Uh, 35,000. And then about 9,000 lux. Obviously, it's very close to the sensor, but this is... This is what we have for recording here. And then bright again, this will go off the charts. Oh, no. Seems like it wasn't well placed. There we go. Off the charts. So yeah, it's very sensitive to placement. But the crazy thing is, I wanted to show you, there's actually a turbo mode, uh, if I turn this off, that goes even brighter than that, which is press and hold. And that thing's also going to be off the charts. So... We're going to have to figure out some way to move this back away and put this in a fixture because I'd really like to know how bright the turbo mode is. So that's that one. This one here is a cheap AliExpress uh, headlamp. So the sender headlamp here. It's very close again. So, you know, eight, 88,000 lux because we're times 10. And then there's all these other settings where see that the out, so let's check what the outside one is so it looks like the outside one this one here is much less bright so let's check that one yeah so 10,000 lux so it's pretty cool to see you know which one is brighter you can do this with uh, your regular LEDs you use for projects as well also i've got this tiny little flashlight uh this one's you know a little bit small for the glory hole here but let's uh Let's try it anyway. So that's very dim. So that's 16,000 lux. A little bit brighter. 90,000 lux. A little bit brighter. That's OL. So that is that is quite bright. You know, probably maxing, getting close to maxing the exposure. And I don't know if this one has a turbo mode. Let's see. Yeah, that's a turbo mode as well. So I'm going to have to fixture this thing in a, you know, a, a box with a certain distance if we're going to test the brightness of these things. I think that could be pretty fun. Might make a 3D print that barely fits, like fits tightly over the edges of these things, set them equidistant from there in a, you know, a dark tube or something, and then uh, check its lux output. That would be awesome video. So that's it. This is a cool little tool that you can get for very cheap. And I think it's very useful to have in your arsenal, especially if you do anything, you know, video wise or uh, testing wise, right? If your whole thing is testing out flashlights and LEDs and stuff, you kind of need one of these to check the output. So um, yeah, I think for the price, it's worth having in your toolbox. It's just another tool that you can use for more information. Links in the description.